small. <laughs> I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Arnie Wilson and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you couldn't tell already from the title or my luxurious robe, got my sleeves rolled up and I am ready for a spa night to go absolutely nowhere. If you want to get your pampering on, relax after a long day of work, then grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. Here on my channel, I'm passionate about providing you guys with the resources and tools to add value to or improve your life in any way that I can, whether that be skincare, beauty, or business and finance. I'm here as a resource for you guys. Leave a positive comment in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. We both know you're just gonna watch like three more videos, so why not be real with yourself and just click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, smash that like button. This content is free, so it's just a kind of a generous way to pay me back, I guess you could say. So. First things first, whenever I have a spa night, is take a bath or a shower. And in my apartment, I do actually have the luxury of having a bath, but today I'm gonna be going with a shower. Just because, I don't know, it's, it's more that vibe. First, I'm gonna cleanse my face with my usual cleanser. Check out my skincare routine for that one. I did just turn 23. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just took a shower and washed my face with this salicylic acid based cleanser by the Inky List. Very good. And as always, I use my Foreo. Foreo. It's a great cleansing brush. It's a lot better than a Clarisonic because it's made out of silicone, so it's not going to attract any type of bacteria. Okay, and now we're going to go in with our first mask, the Dr. Brand. And this one is intense. It says, after cleansing, apply a thin layer, leave on for five to ten minutes. And this is supposed to be a poor or purifying mask, so you can always use some of that and let's put it on. It kind of reminds me of like toothpaste because it makes your face feel cool and kind of like stings a little bit. But like this is definitely uh, not for a beginner mask. Rub that in and I'm gonna go set a timer for seven minutes, something less than 10, because this is. Set an alarm for six minutes. As you can see, it like totally turns blue and it stops being stingy after like two minutes. So now it just kind of feels like cold. I'm just kind of massaging a little bit. Another treatment that you could do that's similar to this is the Ordinary Lactic Acid, which is a great product, or Ordinary AHA and VHA peeling solution. This one is really good. This one also stays. Those are more for chemical exfoliation and this is more for pore purification, kind of like what you do with the mud mask. Coffee. Chaz. I've been watching Fleabag. It is such a good show. I've been talking a lot in British accents. <laughs> If I break out into a Cockney accent, is that the word? It doesn't quite sound right. It's long, because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Okay? Okay? This lemon water tastes beautiful. But yeah, you can like tell it's totally, it's totally like turning are on my lips and like it's like kind of solidifying a little bit. She's doing her job, okay? She's trying. Ugh. I just love coffee. All times of the day, coffee. Now, to beach, I'm bored. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna rinse this. Oh, and I'm back. It took us a minute, but we made it. So I just got this stunning mask. My favorite drag queen, Juno Burge, always says that. So now I always say that too. I just wash off my Dr. Brand mask and now I'm back with this other mask by Fiorga Laboratories Paris. This is their oxygen glow mask. It is supposed to oxygenate your skin. 
All I know is it works. It really gives me a nice glow after I wash it off and it's really nice to go in with a super hydrating, nourishing mask like this after I do a more abrasive, chemically mask like the Dr. Brand one. So I'm gonna leave this on for about like seven minutes, see who's sliding into my DMs. I'll be back with the tea. I can do some massaging with the gua sha. Super nice for lymphatic drainage. <clears throat> is anyone else like this? Like their mask has to be cohesive like you can't have like holes in your mask it's just me but yeah this mask kind of like it starts out white and then it kind of like melts in your skin but it's so nice and rich and just ugh. this was also sent to me in pr but i would definitely buy this with my own money i just rinsed off my mask and i'm gonna be going in with my thayer's classic rose petal toner and this one's just a classic. Upwards motions. And then I'm also gonna take this Mamond. Mamond. This rose toner by Mamond. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Put that on as well, since we're being extra today. Okay, so now that that toner has settled in, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling ready. Let's go in with some serums. So first I'm gonna do the Ordinary Hyaluronic Serum. I'm just gonna do like two drops of that and I'm gonna mix that with the ordinary niacinamide and zinc. Hyaluronic acid is very hydrating and niacinamide is good for acne so this is perfect for my skin. And I'm just gonna spread this everywhere. I think the beauty industry has turned a little bit away from makeup and more into skincare and skincare and makeup and just really just wellness. Obviously because of COVID, I think people are putting a lot more emphasis on their well-being. I think skincare is very important. I mean, I might be biased. It's not only centering, but it also it makes a difference in your everyday appearance. You know, you only have one face, so it might be good to invest in that, you know? Maybe. Now that we've done our serums, I think I'm gonna go in with this Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And it's just a really nice product. Take some of this. And I'm gonna mix that with some Cetaphil. I'm almost out of this one, but I'm gonna get the rest out. Cetaphil is very, very hydrating, but it's a pretty light formula, so it's not gonna break you out if you have acne, which is why I use it. So I'm mixing these two on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna literally slather this on. But now as we go into the drier months and the colder months, we really need to focus on hydrating your skin regardless of your skin type, regardless of whether you suffer from acne or not. Your skin will thank me when you're 80, okay? I'm just listening to your future thank yous. So now that I've laid that down, I'm gonna put in a little bit of retinol. This is prescribed to me by my dermatologist. It helps to speed up the cellular turnover of your skin. It helps to make your skin renew itself a little bit faster. And I'm gonna mix my retinol with my Cetaphil because it helps to dilute it a little bit. It really is a very strong ingredient. It's basically pure vitamin A. So you have to be careful. And now to seal it all off, I'm gonna take my ordinary organic rosehip oil. I like to put two to three drops and then thin it out in my hands. A lot of times people say that if you put things on your hands, you're wasting product, but your hands age too. So in my opinion, it not only helps to warm up the product and to get it more evenly distributed on your skin, but it also helps to keep your hands from aging. And I'm gonna go wash my gua sha because y'all nasty. Oh, you nasty. I would just like to do a quick comparison. So this is an ancient Chinese tradition, gua sha, and it is a massage technique used for lymphatic drainage and for just getting tension out of your face and impurities and toxins out of your face. And then this is the cultural appropriation version. You know, it's just my tea. But I purchased this for, I think, $18. And especially hurts because it's a piece of trash. And I'll show you that it's a piece of trash. And it just kind of is made out of cheap parts. I'm trying to say this as nicely as I can. Don't waste your money on the herbivore facial roller because you can buy a much more effective tool that has been used for thousands of years and pay half the price. For gua sha technique, you wanna kind of use this heart shape in your advantage and you take all the high points of your face and you put them 
where the high point of the gua sha is. You just want to go slow and don't use a lot of pressure. You can irritate your skin if you go too hard. I love going on the jawline because, I don't know, I get such a tight jaw, especially back here. What is that your mandibles? I feel like a praying mantis. This just is great after a long day to just relax in. And the trippiest part about this is that when you use it, you can hear the crunching in your skin. And what's really rewarding is that if you do this often, you start to hear less and less crunching and your face gets kind of a little bit slimmer and just a bit more like chiseled. So I'm a big fan. Who doesn't want to be a bit more chiseled? And we hold a lot of tension between our eyebrows. Take the heart part of it and just kind of wiggle it and then go along your eyebrows because your sinus technically does go up in here. Your lymph channels are right alongside your neck. So if you kind of lightly open up those channels, it promotes lymphatic drainage. I like to go down my collarbones because this is where your lymph nodes technically drain to. So I like to open that up a little bit. And there's usually some crunchies down here too. To top it off, I'm going to exfoliate my lips because who wants to have dry lips? Nobody. I'm just using my Lush Lip Scrub. My favorite flavor is the pumpkin spice flavor, which I'm currently using. Tis the season. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is so great, just so great. Like once you put this on, you can watch a movie, watch a show, go to bed, wake up 12 hours later and your lips are still hydrated, which I love because I have big old lips and it comes with this cute little like paddle now. It used to not come with that, but I'm just such a fan. I mean, it is kind of ridiculous. I'm here for it. Anything pink and adorable, I'm here for. And just to be super extra, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. I don't really suffer from any under eye issues, so I just use a caffeine eye cream, which just kind of helps to prevent any dark circles. What my dermatologist told me is that the main cause of aging, besides the sun, is basically lack of circulation. So caffeine is really good because it helps to bring blood to the area and that's exactly what you want. So I'm putting caffeine right gently in upwards motions with my ring finger, my gentlest finger, and I'm tapping along my orbital bone because you also don't want to get your eye cream too close to your eye because as you move your eyes and as you blink, it's going to travel actually into your eye itself and that can be very damaging. So take my advice and just go right along your orbital bone or your cheekbone and it'll be a lot safer for you and your eyes and trust me the product will migrate to your fine lines. I get a little bit on the crow's feet, sometimes I take a little bit on the smile lines. Anti-aging is all about prevention you know there's no point in starting anti-aging when you're 40. You really have to start when you're young you know I started when I was 15 and hopefully you know I don't experience too much aging you know I think aging is fine but you know, it's nice to prevent it if we can. Age brings wisdom and so many amazing things. Stability, financial stability, stability within you know yourself and your security with yourself improves. So I'm a big fan of aging. Just maybe not so much on the outside. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for staying tuned until the end of this video. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below because I love to read your comments and talk to you guys. I upload every single week, so be sure to subscribe and hit that red subscribe button and stay tuned for all my future uploads. And I'll see you all back here on the next one.